Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. All right, we're all hoping for spring, mm -hmm. uh, but <laughs> what was that stuff? Falling from well, the sky this afternoon, man. It, it snowed a little well, bit. Just, pretty snow, right? Yeah, it was pretty snow. Very, very. I mean, I was surprised <laughs> it was snow. It was so wet. Yeah, well, it's switching over to rain now, and we've got the potential for severe weather tomorrow. So spring is here for sure. April almost here. Oh, Jack Thurston sending in this picture. We, we were just debating him. what right? those are. They're flowers, but... That's you, very good, if you, Tyler. If you want those more detail... Flowers, you are right. I don't right. know. We were thinking, what, maybe a variety of a crocus? I, Alice? Not my, I have no idea. Not my area of specialties, but I think the point is they're pretty. You can see the little <laughs> ice crystals there and the raindrops on the actual flowers. We'll have another shot coming up. Hey, snow right now, snowy, that's for sure. The parking lot actually covered over with snow. You could see it right there. So in the highest elevations, at least some sticking, but for most areas, just wet roads. It is a widespread mix of rain and snow right now. A lot of blue indicating the wet snow for northern spots, eventually switching over tonight. Rain along Interstate 91 through Brattleboro and Route 7 through Bennington. But I did want to show you this outbreak of severe weather. I know there's a lot of talk of the tornadoes in the news. Most of that's from the last outbreak. This is a new one. This is right now west of Chicago, a couple of tornadoes on the ground. And if we go south, you'll see that this line goes all the way down into Arkansas there, just west of Memphis. That's another confirmed tornado. So there's going to be a lot more news about that. And we actually have our own piece of severe weather for tomorrow, first time this year, at least a chance in the afternoon and evening. So right now, 30s, mostly above freezing. The rain ends and switches to just drizzle and light rain overnight. Tomorrow morning, though, there'll be another band of steady rain, pretty heavy at 8 o'clock in the morning. But we warm up. The sun comes out in the afternoon. I think there's probably going to be a lot of people in shorts by 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. Temperatures soaring into the 60s, but it is sort of self-destructing warmth because when we warm up and the sun comes out, we've got this potential for a line of thunderstorms, 3.30 entering northern New York, reaching the Champlain Valley by 6 o'clock and then the Brattleboro area by 8 in the evening. And there can be pockets of wind damage as we go through later tomorrow, so that is something we'll be watching closely. It's a very strong front, so we drop off by 30 degrees going into Sunday. Highs will only be in the 30s Sunday, but at least there'll be a lot of sunshine to enjoy. So snow accumulation is reserved for the northern mountains as we go through the next couple of hours. The severe risk is greatest as you go down the road tomorrow, especially south of Middlebury, south of Lebanon. That is where we'll be watching, especially for some strong thunderstorms, perhaps even a singular tornado somewhere in this shaded area that clips southern Vermont and southern New Hampshire, but especially down into western Mass. So we'll be watching the radar closely later tomorrow. 65 down to 35 on Sunday, but back into the 50s for most of next week. Couple showers on Monday and on Wednesday. Stu, Alice?